This is the BBC Dorsetshire Service. And now, it's time for our weekly current affairs programme, What the Dickens is that all about? edition of What the Dickens is it all about? I'm Charles Davidge and tonight I will be considering a frightful drinking trend sweeping our glorious county. A fermented apple beverage known as Scrumpy is currently taking hold of large numbers of the labouring classes, rendering them more wretched and incapable than ever before. Our correspondent Edward Fanshawe has been spending some time with one such reprobate who goes by the name of Nicholas. Nicholas was born in Devon. Devon is a small settlement of little consequence to the west of Dorset. He was then raised in France. France is a territory of piffling significance across the Dorset Channel. Please be warned that this report contains footage that may upset ladies and those of a sensitive disposition. Nicholas is a broken man. Ravaged by Scrumpy, he spends his days in an alcoholic haze, surrounded by emptiness, longing, and the stench of urine. Here, in his own words, is his story. I moved from France to London four years ago. I worked in a bank. I had a nice house and a beautiful fiancé. Everything was going perfectly for me. About a year ago, I came to Dorset. I needed a break and I was thinking oh, I'd buy a second home here because I have heard that the local people really love it when people move from the city and buy all their houses. One day I got lost. A farmer gave me directions. But he also gave me some homemade scrumpy. I liked it. I liked it a lot. That was a year ago. Let's see Nicholas now and let him finish his story. Hello Nicholas. Please would you tell our viewers what it was about this grumpy that you liked so much? <laughs> it made me feel so good, you know. The taste reminded me of long French summers. I made my brain feel so alive, you know. I felt nothing, just nothing I couldn't do when I drank it. Surely that is a good thing, is it not? That's what I thought. But it's an evil brew, man. Gets inside you. It changes you. In what way? I just, I found I couldn't concentrate on anything except where next flagon was coming from. I started to neglect myself, my work, my fiancé, all my time and my money went on driving my 4x4 to Dorset to pick up my next supply. Eventually money ran out so I sold the car, my watch and I used the money to buy more scrumpy. So, how did you get back to London? Well, that's the thing, you see. I didn't. I stayed here. I found a bed sit. I picked up a bit of work in a Rivita factory, like everyone else. But that didn't last. The scrumpy made me useless. I can't even accomplish the most basic tasks anymore. And how do you support yourself nowadays? My friends are good enough to help me a little. 
as long as I promise I never go and see them again. Yeah, sometimes I beg, I borrow money, I hop around on the market. And what do you see the future holding for you, Nicholas? I just don't know. I just don't know. I wish I'd never left London. And I wish I'd never tried this evil drink. What would become of me? I don't care anymore. So there we have it. What started out as a new experience and the promise of great things has ruined this once proud man. In the name of the king, I implore you not to make the same mistakes as this wretched husk of a man. This is Edward Fanshawe for what the dickens it is all about in Dorsetshire. Back to you, Sir Charles. And that concludes tonight's episode of What the Dickens Is That All About? On next week's transmission, we will be investigating recent reports of zombie attacks on Dorset's populace, apparently emanating from the godless town of Bournemouth in Hampshire. Good night. <laughs>